What's up guys, it's Eric. Yes, I know what you're thinking. I got a haircut, so what, big deal. Um, deal with it. No, uh, I, I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of you guys were asking about like form reviews and stuff. And again, if you guys didn't see my last video on J Justin Tucker, you can check that out here. Um, but we're gonna do another form review on Tyler Bass. So I know you guys like these videos, so I'll be happy to make more of them. Let me know what kicker you guys wanna see next time. Before we get into the actual video, I just wanna let you know the art of kicking, both the kicking book itself and the journal are live on Amazon. If you wanna learn more about that, you can check the links in the description. It's just basically everything that I've learned in my entire kicking and punting experience. And then I also made a journal so you can track your performance on kicking, punting, field goals, and all that fun stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so we have two clips that we're gonna work with for the entire video. And if this gets annoying, good. Deal with it. I say that a lot now. Deal with it. <laughs> Tyler Bass, great kicker. Uh, Bills have a good, good guy on their team. He's got some of the most height that I've seen out of any kicker ever, and I've seen thousands of them. So it is really cool to see how he does it. And I, I think I've broken it down to like one or two things that he's he's doing that a lot of other guys aren't as to how he's getting that height. So for his form, I love the fact that he is really composed and explosive with his swing. So him and Justin Tucker kind of remind me of each other a lot. They both have like a really long frame and they also get away from the ball a lot. But Tyler seems like he's a little bit closer to the ball um, in terms of like his body posture than Justin. But they both have like a really wide uh, foot angle whenever they come to swing. So whenever like Justin Tucker swings, like I talked about in, in the video with him, uh, his his backswing comes a little bit farther to the side of his butt cheek than your t traditional kicker. So most kickers will come to their opposite butt cheek. So if I'm a left footed kicker, my left foot will most likely get to my right butt cheek and not much further. Justin Tucker's like freaking gearing up way outside that and he just bends the rules of physics. Same with uh, Tyler Bass to a point. Looks like he's pretty wide with his swing as well. But what I really like about him is he's a good example of like swinging from the ground up, which I talked about in my book, uh, The Art of Kicking. Now I'll just quickly cover that. Essentially what it is, is it means that you're swinging your energy from the ground up into the ball instead of like this backswing, high backswing, uh, trying to like cut on the ball and then drive it up. So if you watch his swing right here, he doesn't get his swing higher than like mid butt cheek. Uh, most guys will get up to like hip level or higher. Uh, ideally, you wanna get it butt cheek or lower for like your backswing. So he keeps it nice and low um, and he lets his body kind of work its, work its magic. I mean, he's got a really quick leg of course, but the thing that he does really well is at contact, he drives his leg up really fast and he lets his, his um, he's almost hitting it on the upswing it seems like. So right here, makes contact, and then he's swinging his leg up as soon as he possibly can, and then he's getting all of his weight forward. So watch right here for the first yard after his swing, everything is going up. Most guys you'll see they'll either come off to the side or they'll just stay where they're at and just keep keep all of their energy down. So after he swings, everything is going forward and he's even doing a little hippity hop, skippity scop step, skip step, and to get through the ball as well. Like kind of like Justin Tucker, but in, in his own way. Um, not a huge fan of his crunch, you know, but he does a good job of keeping his eyes back on the ball. Uh, there's some mixed reviews about too much, like I, I back on the ball um, tendencies because essentially what that can do is it can get you to caught crunch your shoulders back like you're seeing right here where his shoulders are back um, but the, the the main thing to note is his hips are in the right position because of the fact that his eyes are back so um, if you could tweak anything here it might just to be to keep your body uh, for him to keep his body a little bit taller mainly because the more you crunch the harder it is for your leg to come up um, so if he could just stay let's eh, just like a smidge taller That'll help his leg get up just a little bit more. Nothing crazy, but you know we're looking for tiny, tiny pieces of adjustments for him to work on. But I mean, if, if there's a 17-foot lineman like eight yards away, um, 
where like a traditional lineman would be, they're still not blocking this. It seems like the ball's not even like 12 yards upfield and it's already like 20 feet in the air. So um, yeah, he's got a freaking height machine going on right now. But other than the height he gets, it's really nice to see how accurate it is because the ball doesn't flutter at all after it um, goes 50 yards downfield. Now, one other thing that I like about him is the fact that he stays in his power triangle after he kicks the ball. Like we talked about, he gets up field, but there's just another way that we can um, analyze it or talk about it for you kickers out there that might know this term instead. So one thing that he does well as, uh, uh, that I like is he gets through his triangle. So if you draw a line straight through his target zone, you draw it out to where his side steps normally are, usually like right there, and then you draw it back in towards the ball um, all the way right there. Ideally, you wanna keep your power zone, your swing and your follow through and all that um, going inside that triangle. So a good swing, he's gonna end up um, for reference after the video moves. So he's gonna wanna stay inside of this bag right there. That's kind of like a general reference for you guys because the camera is going to move in a second. So after he swings, he's definitely almost immediately going forward with it. And then he does his second, um, you know, step is like that little hop. So he's definitely getting through the ball really well. So that's a cool little thing that he does as well as he stays, he stays in his triangle nicely, which is, which is cool to see. So apart from that, um, we'll go to the next next kick right here. Different angle, a di little different idea of what it looks like. His plant foot depth is really nice too. So some guys teach something different where you might want to get um, more shallow of a plant, really deep upfield. It doesn't, every, every coach is different. Um, most kickers see the most success whenever their heel is even with the ball, with the middle of the ball, okay? So he's about there, uh, and, and you can also use the line as a reference. So if you're planning on the line, if you're off the ground, your heel should be on the line. If you're on a one inch tee, your, the middle of your foot should be on the line. And then if you're on a two inch tee, your toes should be on the line, but nothing else. Everything else should be behind the ball, all right? Hopefully that cleared some stuff up for you guys as well. But Apart from that, what I like here, again, that swing up is really nice. He keeps his eyes back really well and he gets upfield and he just hits the ball to the stratosphere, which is really cool to see. But yeah, he is a freak of nature, super fun to watch. Um, love watching this guy and all that he is capable of. So I, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. Hit the bell notification so you get updated whenever the new, new videos come out. Apart from that, The Art of Kicking, both the kicking book and journal versions are out now. Please check the links in the description along with all the other resources that you guys may, may want to check out as well. Those all help me out. No matter what you want, uh, I, I make these for you guys. And then of course, if you wanna see another video or another form of you, let me know. I will post that as soon as I get a chance to. But thank you guys again. Uh, I really guys, really did hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, again, just send me a comment. Let me know what your favorite part of the video was and maybe share it with a friend, something like that. But I will see you guys next time.